Given how soft and pathetic the NBA has become over the past decade or so with LeBron James as the face of it, it wasn't really a surprise to see yet another interaction between an NBA player and a fan where the NBA player gets so sensitive that he needs to have a fan kicked out of the game. And this time, it was Russell Westbrook when the Clippers were playing the Kings a few days ago. And we've seen LeBron James do this multiple times. Now other players are starting to pick up on it because LeBron James is getting away with it, getting his feelings hurt by some something that gets said, something that's incredibly light, like, I don't know, calling LeBron a bitch from the sidelines. That's enough to get LeBron James so triggered that he gets people kicked out of games. Well, now what happened with Russell Westbrook is even more pathetic than that. This is the courtside view we got of Russell Westbrook. Now we know a little bit more about this, but let's watch this first. You too, the fact that you have these, oh my, I almost said a word I shouldn't say. The fact that you have these pussies like Russell Westbrook that are controlling who can be there at a game. So even somebody that didn't do anything, even somebody that wasn't part of what we're about to watch, he gets them kicked out and he has complete authority and ownership to do that is sad and fucking pathetic. This is the soft ass NBA, but now we, we know why. New video shows why Russell Westbrook may have had Kings fans ejected. And uh, yes, it's because they were mocking his celebration. Russell Westbrook has Kings fans ejected for mimicking Rock the Baby celebration. Russell Westbrook scores off KCP and rocks the baby. This is something that uh, that he's been doing recently. This is his little uh, celebration that he's done. Westbrook inside and lays it in. You see him there? He grabs, cradles the baby and starts rocking it. Like he's about to put him to sleep, right? 3 78 Clippers timeout. There you go. That's his celebration. Well, he wasn't happy. This fan, the guy that got kicked out, this is all he did. Gary Sheffield Jr. tweets this, any fan kicked out of the arena by a player in their feelings should sue the hell out of the team. Outside of a racial slur or throwing something on the field of play, there's no reason for this to happen. We can see this now. Here is the guy in question. I'm going to zoom in on this when I start playing it. I will zoom in so you can see better. This is all that happens. He does Russell Westbrook's celebration. He mimics it for about five seconds. He stands up. He does his rock, rock the baby. A guy who's paid premium like dollars to to sit there, to sit courtside. What happened? That's when we see that the, the point in time that video catches up. This is pathetic. This is such soft, weak behavior, but this is the new NBA. This is LeBron James NBA. I am going to place a lot of the blame on this solely at the feet of King James, Queen James, really. It's what we should be calling him. Like, it's pathetic, but he's the one that started this stuff. He's the one that started kicking people out because he's sensitive. Like, all that bullshit that came out about, oh, they said something about Brian. No, they didn't. That's a lie. That's just a straight-up lie. These players are getting people kicked out because they're getting triggered when they're getting trolled by an opposing fan base. It's pathetic. Russell Westbrook, pathetic bitch. LeBron James, pathetic bitch. All the NBA. It's just soft and sad at this point in time. Anybody who played in, like, the 80s and 90s should be embarrassed by the state of the current day players in the NBA. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.